Kathleen's Lake in Doncaster. I've never been here before. Um, I've only met Baz on the social. Uh, if you remember one of my videos, Ghostly All, I think it was January, I got sent from, uh, from Baz some free stuff to, well, just to try. I said, just try it and let us know what you think of it. Captain Bank UK does like terminal tackle, you know, uh, end bits, hooks, tongues, and stuff. They shrink, shrink all, all the all the, like, the rig, sort of rig components, leaders. They do, they do all sorts now, actually. Um, yeah. I might actually remember the team, but he's uh, well, he invited me, he invited me, so I'm not going to turn that down, am I? Fishing. Yeah, so we're uh, all some fizzing there. Uh, 48 hours in front of us. These, it's a couple of 30s, a good few 20s. Four acres, 220 fish, I'm told. So let's see if we can uh, eat one out. I've banked twice previously, and not on a, um, a match lake. Disgracefully, Isaac Walton, and then a blanked, and I should have caught really. I'd fish all over me. Last session at Winterley Pool specimen there, it's got it wrong on the day. Uh, let's see if we can get it right this time, third time lucky, eh? Um, yeah, I mean, peg eight did the draw, I missed it somehow um, on like a, like a Facebook group. So I've sort of gone, my Facebook, it's not a Facebook for me, it's I only joined it because the syndicate I'm on, that's the only way you can find anything out. So I joined it, and then obviously I've joined this group now because I've come on this social. But yeah, they um, had a draw on there, copied me in, or whatever you call it, my name. I've, I've somehow missed it, and uh, I'm in this peg, but I'm pretty pleased to be honest. Yeah, right, rigs. Um, what's that, Jeff? I'll tell you if I've got a bay to my left, just reed line, it's absolutely oh, really nice looking lake. The peg looks mega, and um, peg's top. He provides the mats, nets, and slings. Yeah, stop, we can't bring your own. Everything's really, no litter, everything's really looked after. Uh, the owner's a bit, what's the word? He's sound, but you know, he, he seems like he don't, he don't mess about. Any wheel breaking, and it's over for you. Not dead, it can kill you, but you're off the lake, you know what I mean? Which is good, isn't it? Um, right, rigs. I'll show you what rigs, two rods. Uh, the first one is for you, Jake, old Jake Curran. He's coming fishing with Jake next week. Um, Seems a bit, seems quite keen on this rig. This one's already been used, this, but I'm just using it for sort of illustration. Aren't I? 360 rig, Let's see if I can get it in focus for you. And go, where's it gone? 360 rig, just to pop up on it. Um, Caught with braid, putter, tungsten, uh, tungsten, oh, it tungsten putter is, anti tangle sleeve knot though. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty standard, that. And the other rod. Just a snowman presentation. I might drop and change the colours depending on what happens, but there we go. Just a ball back rig curved duck. Uh, tungsten putter. 
same, just a different, obviously that's a ball back rig, the one's a 360 rig. Yeah, so her, uh, yeah, let you not know catch anything, uh, have a bit of a social later on, winding. Baz has made a curry, which is you no know, sound. It smells nice anyway, it smells really nice. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll let you know how we get on. Can't blank three times in a row. Um, he actually, in fact, actually, Baz, he, he sorted us like a goodie bag out with some solid bag gear. So I thought, ooh, solid bags. Good idea of that. Bottom's quite firm. You know, you're fishing tight to stuff. You know, book's all covered in that. So presentation's pretty much guaranteed, isn't it? So, um, but I, I forgot my solid bag bucket. I had it ready because I'm a sap. I just didn't pick it up. So, well, I tried making one with what I've got to the state of it. Look at the state of that. Can't even see the stem. Look at the state of that for a solid bag. If I had to give that solid bag a name, I'd call it Kurt. So obviously because I'm not, I'm not fit to make a solid bag, they were the rigs um, that I've gone in with. Right, I'll update you soon, hopefully, with some sort of fish. Oh, you slag. <laughs> little tits up this. Right, I've got, my, I've got a bay to my, well, to my left face, that, there, that side. Stone pole, I'm going to wade down the margin. I can't cast to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wade down. Pretty firm bottom. I'm told it's about four foot. Baz says it's four foot, so if I die, Baz is to blame. Look, he's, he's watching me now, he can't, he can't wait. He, he wants this peg. I bet the margin's eight foot and I don't come back. Um, yeah, so we're on it. I'm gonna weigh it down now, feel about, and if so, come back, get a rod ready, lower it down, big lead, three and a half ounce maximum rule on here, and then, uh, well, set my traps and just leave it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think many people would make the effort to weigh, but I'm hoping not, because if I do, I'm hoping it'll pay off the extra effort. So, yeah, if you don't see me again, uh, I've gone doing what I love. Right, we're having a bucket challenge, 15 feet. From that distance stick, under arm, into that bucket. Who's first? Lost first out, some shit. Adam won. <laughs> turned up late, had half a run. <laughs> and it's uh, oh, he, a. <laughs> <laughs> turned up late, half a run. Cashed it in selling bait to people. And then he's taking the 20 pound goodie bag home as well. Hey, no, I'll be fair, I'll be fair with the money. That 20 pound. With oh, there you go, look at that sportsmanship. After receiving no action overnight, I woke up a bit disheartened. After watching the water for a bit, a fish jumped out against the margin to my left, and then Baz saw another show in a similar area. I reeled both rods in, clipped them up to where the fish had shown, and got two fresh rigs out tight against the reeds. With Baz watching the rods and armed with a lucky t shirt, I marched round to sprinkle a handful of bait over each rig. Bait I'm using for this session, um, mainly boilies, but I've got some pellets as well. Bought these off the owner. They're 11 mil. That's what he feeds them, and um, he just feeds them these. I don't know how much he puts it. And we've got the 8 mil, and uh, then well, the rest of it's just boilies. Right, what have we got? Um, we've got Royal Marine. I've actually got sort of transformed oil. No. I've got Roller Marie, that looks like one actually. Um, I've got some that are. I think they're oiled up, they're just plain as they are out of the bag. Freezer baits, and that's got the food dip on. Yeah, all bait works Roller Marie. Um, and then the other one, Adam makes his own bait, Pompey Boilies. Uh, Crabuna, Crab and Tuna, I'd say. What the when I open the bucket, that's what you can smell. And that Roller Marie is quite potent as well. But yeah, freezer baits. Um, yeah, 
So I knew he was coming on on this social. He's been he's invited as well. I think he's a team member actually, Adam Cat. Obviously he's got his own boily stuff going on. Um, got his own team members, but I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with him, definitely. I was messing with him like, you know, that's a bait works one. Quite textured, I like that bait. And that Kraboon is the same. Uh, both freezer baits, it only makes me freezer bait. But yeah, really good. Uh, I've, I've used them, I've, I've put a few out, mix, you know, mix with the pellets, spread it around and that. and. Uh, I did crush them up with the old crusher, make some stick mix, but I've sort of ended up fishing without it really. Yeah, that's uh, that's, pr that's pretty much it for the bait. Yeah, I don't know how many kilos are there, three, four, four maybe. Three or four, I think it's a five litre bucket. So, uh, yeah, I've not put a lot in, but I've not had any fish, have I? So, that's why. There's that's what I'm going to do, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to love this. There we go. Breathe in. Thumbs up. Captain Bank UK. 3, 2, 1, synchronised lunge. Foot <laughs> drop. Yeah, that's... 3, 2, 1. 3! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, baby, Right, <coughs> end of day two. Bit of a strange day today. Tried me and Boss tried zigs. Um, I did a bit to the cabin before, but because of the sun, it was dead bright. I looked, I looked like um, one of them aliens off that film cocoon, <coughs> just albino with alopecia and just illuminous white head. So I just deleted it. <laughs> Fisherman showing some eye, sort of that, that way. Um, <coughs> a lot more fish down here though. We were watching them before, a lot more fish down here, this uh, different to what it was yesterday. Uh, fish have shown over me and Baz again, quite a few down my corner actually. Um, seen fish show a bit further up the margin, sort of against the left hand bank but quite tight to the reeds. So I sprinkled a bit of bait there before, two rods on it, put a zig on when they were cruising about in front of us. Another fish shown back near the reeds, put my right hand rod back where it was, so I've got two on the reeds, tight bait over it, just leave it. Um, <coughs> the water's quite murky and I, know, um, I was thinking about it and I was using quite a dark up bait in that margin. <coughs> I did see tail patterns last night but I decided to swap over bright baits. I've got an orange, an, oh no sorry not an orange, tell you that. A white scent from El Pop upon one, um, pretty visual and it stinks. And the other one I've got a, I've got another one. <coughs> uh, it's a main line waft, I think it's a peaches and cream, it's levered in buttercorn, I'm confident with that. An 18 miller on a, I think, is it called a clone rig? D rig with four carbon. Um, <coughs> and I've topped it, it sank quite fast, a bit faster than I wanted it to. Obviously, I wanted it to kick out. Um, quite a firm bottom, but that's what I wanted it to kick out because that's what I wanted it to do, it's my rig. And I'll, uh, I'll do what I want with it. A um, bit, bit of floating pop-up sweet corn on the top, just, just made it sink that bit slower, so a bit of foam, foam came up, whole bit of foam. Yeah, um, no more fish, <coughs> say more fish. Um, Wayne and Lee over there, they had one each. Uh, Wayne Munai Carper, he's doing a vlog as well, so check him out on YouTube. Baz is actually, Baz Carper Carper, man UK, he's doing one. Um, Chris is starting his first ever vlog, Skulls there. I can't remember what he said he was going to be called on YouTube. I think it's Chris, or Carp Angler Chris, I think. So type it in, you'll find him, you'll find him. <coughs> yeah, you'll find him. Um, yeah, so four four videos going. So plenty of uh, fancy watching, you know, not just from my point of view, but other people on the same session. It's mad because I've never, I've never, I've never seen anyone else doing it. I know there's quite a few people who do it, but I've never been fishing anywhere where anyone else is videoing and it's always just been me and I've always felt like a bit of a gimp at first but I'm not bothered now I was a bit conscious at first you know but I was just doing it next to her um, <coughs> I think Lee's doing it Lee might be doing it as well you know I don't know Baz mentioned that before uh, Skulls is doing it and obviously Wayne mad you know because 
add them down the other end, Pompey Violet makes his bag in Barnsley. Damo, he's from, he's from Aldea, Damo, Doncaster way. Um, obviously Baz is from Oldham, not far from me. Scholes is from Shaw, not far from me. Uh, <coughs> Haywood, Leroy, he's not far from me, so that's the old, but uh, he's from Western Supermare, he's drove for over 200 miles. Wait, you know, same, we were saying before, how mad it is, like, I would have never known they existed, and they wouldn't have known that's all about me. Obviously the YouTube videos, but um, it's mad how, just saying how car fishing, no, he just, he just, he just brings sort of anglers together, doesn't it? Obviously, you get, you get, you get dickheads about it, you know, getting a bit lagging sometimes, but you get that everywhere you go, don't you? But, yeah, it's just mad. I wouldn't have, I've had, I've had top apps, I've had top time, it's been there, obviously. A bit dubious at first, because I won't let bad from either sound. Never met these lads, and I'm like, I'm not very sociable. I'll do videos and so on, what for me? Carp fishing is different, I love, I love carp fishing. I talk to anyone about carp fishing all day. <coughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's been, even though I've not caught anything yet, hopefully yet, um, it's been, I've had a mega time, I've had a really good time, it's been funny, it's been really funny. That day, man. <laughs> funny, man, really funny. Just just top sound, though, everyone's just been sound. Had a top laugh, no one's had an argument, no one. Everyone's a team, it's been a team, you know what I mean? That rhymes. Yeah, it's been nice. I've, I've really enjoyed it. And, uh, hopefully, I'll get invited on another one. Right, that's it. Uh, no fish. Bit quiet, really. I thought it was, we thought it was nailed on for last night. Overcast, rainy. Um, temperature dropped a little bit. Uh, fish showing all over me and Baz, but nothing. Third blank in a row. What is going on? I thought I'm gonna do. I'm out next weekend on a meadow view. It's quite an easy lake, but. Caught, I've been there twice, I've caught both times, just one fish which has been freezing and I've caught so you know fingers crossed I can uh, I can end this this slump of three blanks. Happens all done it, it's just my turn to go through a bit of a bit of a dry spell, if whatever you'll call it. But yeah, thanks for watching, um and I'll see you next time. Carp and I go out.